change can bring about a huge amount of upheaval, whether you are moving house, starting a new job, sending the kids back to school, or going through a separation. In this video, I am teaching you how to make any transition as smooth as possible. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help busy women get organized, get motivated, and get a handle on a big upheaval. Life throws a lot of curveballs at us, so let's talk about six different ways that you can face your fear of the unknown and hit a home run. First up is to make like a boy scout and be prepared. Sometimes you will have a heads up that change is coming, so instead of burying your head in the sand, get yourself organized. Figure out as many things as you can in advance, do some research, take action on tasks, gather some supplies. When I packed up my entire life in Ireland and moved to the United States with my family last year, I was ready. I'd started the packing process really early on. I had done some research on our new home and our new surrounding area. I had written lots of lists of things that I needed to get done and things that I wanted to do. And I had mentally prepared myself as much as I possibly could for what lay ahead. But even if change hits you out of the blue, before you go into panic mode, take a step back, take a deep breath, and focus on what needs doing and when, and then follow through. This is something that I really wish I had known years ago when I had my daughter and I gave up my legal career to stay home and look after her, only to find myself thrown into the depths of postnatal depression. That was probably the hardest thing that I have ever gone through and I wish at the time that I had taken a breather instead of constantly trying to push through and to prove how strong and capable I was. The more preparation you put in and the sooner you do it, the less anxious you will feel and the smoother the transition will be. Once you are armed and ready, rally the troops. No woman is an island, not even an introvert hermit like me. Whatever burden you are about to bear, the load will be lighter if it's shared. After you've figured out what you need, find someone who can help. You might need a colleague who can help pick up the slack at work. You might need a professional who can help you do some odd jobs. You might just need a shoulder to cry on, you know, somebody who can be a bit of a cheerleader for you and encourage you and help you to focus on the bright side. Whatever it is, delegate some tasks, divide up the responsibility and double down on your friendships. As a type A perfectionist control freak, believe me when I say that there are no medals for going it alone. I have tried it. It is a dark and lonely place. If you are the only one running a race, coming first means nothing. So surround yourself with a good team and take home the gold. Three, keep busy. This is probably the only time that you will hear me give this advice because generally I am against busyness just for the sake of it, but distraction can be used to your advantage. I never had that transition period when we moved here to the United States and I think the main reason for that was because I threw myself into doing things as soon as we arrived. The first month passed in a blur of activities and outings and by the time I stopped to catch my breath, I'd already been living here for a few weeks. Now, don't pack your days so tightly that you are just a big, sweaty, stressy mess. Instead, fill them with fluff. Start that book you've been meaning to read. Schedule a spa day. Take up a new hobby. Sign up for a new class. Join a gym. Look up all of the local activities and attend as many as you can. Rewatch your favorite box sets. Before you know it, the bad times will be behind you and the good times will be rolling in again. Four, keep your something old. No matter how drastic the change, there will still be so many elements of your old life that you can incorporate into your new one. Be conscious of your old habits and work them into your new routine. Maybe you can still enjoy a coffee first thing in the morning or maybe you'll still read a book last thing at night. Maybe you can keep your weekly lunch date with your best friend. You will probably still be able to enjoy the same foods and pastimes, so take comfort in those. 
no matter how big the upheaval, no matter how tumultuous the transition, no matter how far you have been wrenched out of your normal routine, find your old comfort blankets and if they still work for you, then curl up in them as often as you can. You may find that less has changed than you think. Five, make the old new. This is another thing that I did when we moved here. There were so many new things to do and new places to go, you know, new things to learn, lots of simple things that were foreign to me. So I got out there and I did it all as quickly as possible. I found the local post office and I opened a PO box. I applied for my US driving test. I pumped gas, um, I learned the layout of the local grocery store, I joined the library, I introduced myself to the neighbours. Within that first month all of that new scary stuff was no longer new or scary. So remove that kind of unknown element as quickly as you can, you know, rip off that band-aid and you will soon find that you are on familiar ground again. Six, look to the future. Giving yourself something to look forward to can make the present discomforts so much more bearable. Having that anticipation and that excitement can really fuel you to push you through any tough times and to focus your attention on what's up ahead rather than what you are currently bogged down in. Plan a trip or even just take a whole weekend off where you do nothing. You stay in bed, you read a book, you watch TV, you take a walk, you have your meals delivered, whatever you feel like doing. Knowing that you are working and fighting towards something and that there is a break on the horizon will keep you moving even through the toughest transitions. Let me know the biggest benefit that came out of a recent transition in your life. If you've wavered and you want to know how to get your life back on track, I have a video on exactly that. Click that one and let's chat over there. Until then, go have me in a mahagwev. Agus fekimei shifshikalua. Sláon!